Psalms 84 and 3. The psalmist entered into the tabernacle of God. He said, I saw birds. He said, I saw a swallow who found herself her house, or a sparrow that found a house, and a swallow that made her nest, even upon the altars of God. Uh, verses 7, God said, Blessed are those. Or verse 5, Blessed are those who know their ways. Hear this message from the birds. It's not a message for the birds, but it's a message from the birds. David said he saw some birds gathering in the tabernacle of God and they were building their nest on God's altar. They were laying their young on his altar. God said, blessed are you if you learn their ways. Blessed are you, Mama. God said, if you can take this message from a bird and lay your young, lay your seed, lay your children, lay your life first and then theirs on my altar. Because I, the Lord, and only me, only I know how to deliver them. I delivered them to you once now deliver them to me and I'll give them back a second time with a new birth on every mother to come stand in these altars at the foot of his cross this morning come on It is Mother's Day. It ain't Mother's Morning, because if it was Mother's Morning, we'd be done over with. It takes all day. Second Kings 4, beginning in verses 8, there was a great woman who lived in Shumanum. Shumanum in the Hebrew means a double resting place. In verse 20, she built a little chamber, or verse 10, on the side of her house for the prophet of God, whose name is Elisha. His name in Hebrew means salvation. Somebody shout, she made room for God's salvation. She connected her house to God's house, because the chamber she made was for the prophet of God, whose name means salvation, to rest. She connected God's house to her house. God gave her a miracle child, gave her a son, but when the child was young, he grabbed his head working with his father in the field. Some called it a sunstroke or whatever. His father, like any good father said, take him to his mom. Mama held him on her knees until noon in verse 20 of 2 Kings 4 and he dies. What does mama do? Mama, who was a great woman, verses 8. Somebody say a big mama. Big in faith. She grabbed her child that God gave her who had been born once and now he's dead. She picks him up takes him into the room that she built for God's salvation. The place that she had connected to her house, which was God's house. Oh, glory to God. She lays him on the bed of God, walks out, closes the door, tells her servants, saddle up the ass, we go into the man of God. And they get in the chariot, amen, glory to God, and they run it, Toward, and she said, do not lighten up for me whatsoever. Drive hard. And they went and they got to the man of God. And the man of God said, the Lord has hid it from me. What's wrong? What's going on? She said, all is well. Somebody say, all is well. She could have said, all is hell. But she said, all is well. And she, he said, well, I'll send my servant back to lay my staff. And she said, no, I ain't leaving you until you come. And the prophet of God, Elisha, whose name means salvation, walked up into the room she had connected to God. And she had made to God. And found him resting on salvation's bed. And the prophet of God walked up, laid on him, and he was revived. He come back to life. Somebody shout he was born once. Now he's dead. Somebody shout he's alive again. Somebody shout, he got born again. 
Why? Because mama laid him in salvation's bed. I call her big mama of faith. Mama of God. And when I say mama of God, I ain't saying you the mother of God, but you got to be just like a man of God or a woman of God. You got to be a mama of God. Just like daddy got to be a daddy of God. Come on, somebody. Of God means you got to take them. Yeah. You, you got to make room for God to work. Somebody shout. The way you do that is you stay connected to God's house. Yes. Mama didn't ask me if you going to go to church when I was growing up. I had a drug problem. She drugged me if I had to be drugged out when I was going. You're going to church. Going to church. Period. It's not up for discussion. You're going to church. Come on. That's what this woman at, at Schumann, it means double resting place. It means she had a double resting place. She had her house, but her house was connected to God's house. Come on, somebody. And that's where she took her son when he died, when she needed a miracle for her child. She took him to the room, the house, the place she connected to hers. That's why it's called double resting place. And she rested in salvation's bed. She placed her dead son there. And by that afternoon, her dead son was up alive again. Somebody shout, Mama. Mama. Stay, connected Stay connected to his house. his house. And listen, the boy died on her knees, verse 20 of 2 Kings 4. Mama's praying for him, and he gets worse. He dies. Somebody shout, Mama, keep praying. Mama. Even when they get worse. The knees, the place of prayer often, the position of prayer. She's holding her son, praying for him, and he dies in her lap. Some of you, the more you pray, it looks like they get worse, they get worse. But God said, keep praying on them, yeah. keep praying for them, and lay them on salvation's bed. Because God says, I'm coming to your house uh, after a while. Uh, hallelujah. And I'm going to come to the room you've made for me. Uh, because you've connected your house to my house. Uh, because you've kept praying. Uh, God said, I'm going to raise them up. Uh, you may say, well, my sons and daughters are saved. Well, I know everybody here's got some grandchildren. Come on, somebody. They may not be serving God. Some of them may be too young. Uh, amen. They know about serving God. But I've come to prophesy as his prophet today. God says what you see before you as reality what I did for this man my friend that preaches my word this day. So shall I do for yours. So shall I do in your sons and daughters. If you'll only believe. Stay connected to my house. Keep praying. Believe me for I the Lord will save. I will save them and fill them with my power. Hallelujah. Yeah, Mama. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Mamas, y'all gather around that cross right there. And, and, and some of you at the front, you'll be able to grab the cross. Hallelujah. Others, it'll get so crowded, you'll just have to lay hands on the lady in front of you. Praise God. Son, get a close picture of this. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Mothers of the Cross. Mama, you hold on to that right there. You hold on to that message. And the one who suffered and died there for you. And God says, I'll make sure every one of your children and grandchildren will know the one that hung on that cross. I prophesy this day if you hold to it and claim what he did on that cross not just for you and you thank God it's for you it's done happen to you but God says what I did for you I will do for them I will save you and your house Acts 16.31 God has they embrace this cross mothers of the cross feel me in son if you ain't already filmed in hey I'm talking feel me in if you ain't already you got a close shot of it if you're watching this mama claim the cross Hold to the cross. Hold to the message of the Savior. Hold to what He did on that cross. For God says what I did in you, I'll continue in them. I will save your sons and your daughters. I will save your grandsons and your granddaughters. I will save generation after generation. Come on, saints. Hallelujah. We're interceding for generations. Not just each other today, but generations to be. Generations to come. Generations of those women who embrace this cross this day and those that will watch and those that will hear and those that will believe and even mothers to be that are in this room that are not mothers now Holy Ghost I thank you right now in the name of Jesus Christ every son and daughter they have gave birth to or will give birth to will serve Jesus they will not work walk in perversion demons and devils shall not overpower them and control their lives they will be servants of the most high God friends of the Lord himself and they shall speak the word 
words of God. And they shall bring glory and honor and fame to Jesus. The one who hung on that cross. Mothers of the cross. Mothers of the cross. Play that song I sang this morning. Play it again while mamas are around the cross. Mothers of this cross. Of his cross today. Hold on to the cross, mama. Hold on to the cross, mama. Who did the full of preaching of the cross and did that pierce this foolishness of us that are saved is the power of God. First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.18. This is the power of God right here, the cross. Hold on to it. Because the power of God issues from it toward your children. And he will save. Mama never got, got always got up early. Yes. She never went to bed too late. Yeah. Yet I've never heard her complain about her family of age. There were times she should have been sleeping, yet late in the midnight hour. She get down on her knees and you could hear pain. Lord, fill them with your power. or even looking at this in the, from this room or from the camera lens, from your iPhone or from a tablet or a laptop, old internet. You may recognize your mom up here. If you running from God, your running is about over. Because your mom was calling your name at the cross. You'll find me all alone. That's when I like to call upon Jesus for his wisdom and his power. Cause it seems that he loves to hear of daddy's prayer, even in the midnight hour. Give me every daddy right now to come up here and stand in these altars and call out for your sons and daughters. For your grandchildren. Come on. Mothers of the cross and men of the altar. Mama knew that Jesus was waiting when she knelt by her rocking chair. Oh, I'm glad my mama was waiting. Siblings right now at this cross and all call them out before God. Come on, we celebrate each other's first birthday. And I'll prophesy some new birthday celebrations are coming. A second birthday celebration. Some of you you're praying for even your sons and your daughters. God said you're about to get twice the brother, twice the sister. Lord God, I agree in the name of Jesus. Open their eyes. Open their eyes. Bring them to your cross, Jesus. 
for me, you'll do it for everybody else. If they'll believe. Hallelujah. 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 Look here, mamas, one day you're going to do this. I'll shout my praying ain't in vain. <laughs> 